what's going on I just want to do a quick video on being a uh, driver for all state roadside assistance I've been doing it for about uh, maybe going on two years now and um, they're not bad they wanted a higher paying roadside assistance I do another one uh, it's called ARS all uh, what are they called auto rescue solutions ARS um, I do them as well I get more requests from ARS but Allstate pays the most usually Allstate's about $20 per call so that's not bad it would be real good if they called if they send a request every you know more often probably could rack up throughout the day but I believe they try to ration the calls out but they do pay the most and it makes it worth it even when it's like a little bit further out for $20 just to give somebody a jump start um, that's the one I'm headed to now so you get your um there's four things you got to do with Allstate as far as the roadside. You do the jump starts, as I mentioned. You do the um, lockout. Somebody lock their keys in the car. You do your flat tire change. And you also do your fuel. Now, the fuel, I really usually decline those requests. It's just not worth it to stop, get gas, go to somebody. You have to find out what kind of gas they take. It's just a lot of work. But you can do those if you want to, if you just want to stay busy. But I just usually decline those uh, fuel calls it's not to me it's not worth it but um i'm headed to one now it's a jump start they usually when i get a request i usually call the customer because you believe a lot of times they they don't um either like say it's a jump start i'm headed to them they might have already somebody might have saw them and gave them a jump start already so you might have wasted your time going there so and the same thing with a flat tire especially if it's a lady they'll see you know a lady on the side of the road with a flat tire and most guys will stop in help them out so um, just call always and ask them you know are you still in need of assistance the call the phone number is always on the request uh, what else with that um, that's about it it's really pretty much easy work as long as it keeps going um, of course sometimes you have issues like somebody might have a lock lug nut and they don't have the key so you wasted your time going there um, or sometimes people think you're going to do more than just like a flat tire say a flat tire um they might have a nail in it they think you're going to come and change the change the rubber part of the tire out and not just put the spare on so they don't have a spare they think you're coming with a whole truck to take the tire off the rim and so you just gotta um be conscious about you have to be conscious about uh conscious about uh, some of the calls so it's got to work as smart it's like anything almost like with uber you know you got to take your calls and work as work as smart so um, that's about it. It's real easy. I'm about to do one now. I'm going to see if I can get a quick video of it if the guy doesn't mind of me just uh, giving him a jump start. Uh, Allstate, you're going to have Allstate and most roadside assistance apps. You're going to need a few tools. You're going to need your jump box. You're going to need, uh, of course, a jack, jack stands. You're going to need, what else you're going to need? Da, 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 da. A breaker bar to get some of those hard lug nuts off. Uh, a few other they give you a list and they want you to um, pretty much send pictures of it. No, actually, no. ARS wants pictures. ARS wants pictures. Um, where's this guy? I'm sorry, I'm driving and trying to find this guy at the same time. Okay, I found him. Um, they're going to give you a list. They're going to actually, actually, no. Um, Allstate's going to ask for a video. A video of you um, doing it. So they, this is going to be somebody like doing like a live interview. He's going to be watching you watching you do each service. So you just got to get your phone on a tripod. I'm sorry, I didn't know I was all the time. You have to get your phone on a tripod and um, film yourself doing it. So they're gonna be watching you live. They're gonna watch you see you do all services. The tire, they're gonna want you to lock your car on purpose and get, get it out. That's something else you're gonna need, a lock kit. I mean, um, a lock kit. You can get that from Amazon. Most of the stuff you get from Amazon, you don't have it already. I do um, mobile brake and rotor service, so most of the stuff I already had already. The only thing I had to get was a jump box. But I'll continue this video shortly. Let me finish this roadside. All right, sorry about that. I'm back. Um, yeah, that didn't take long. It literally took me about two minutes to jump them off. Um, the jump box, if you have a, I got a, kind of a cheap jump box. It probably costs like $70. Um, they're only good if you 
the battery's not completely dead. Like if they turn the key and it's still making a noise, it might jump it off, but if the battery's completely dead, it ain't gonna do nothing. So if you wanna invest in it, if you plan on doing this regularly, I would get a good like $200 jump box um, that holds life, holds, has, a, has a lot of good life in it. So um, I would mess with those more so if you're gonna be doing this on a regular, but get a jump box and get them also I use my regular jumper cables, which all state really doesn't want you using, but nine times out of 10, the cables are still reliable. So, um, but that's just me. Do what you got, do, do the right thing. They tell you don't use jumper cables and you make that decision on your own. But um, other than that, that's it. If you got any questions, um, feel free to hit me up. Like I said, the pay is pretty good as long as they send you regular requests. It seems like sometimes, to be honest with you, they kind of pick and choose who they send these jobs to. Like if you decline too many jobs, they're not gonna send you nothing else, probably for some days. They just kind of like petty like that, it seems like. But if you take one request um, and just go out, go out and do it, or just take whatever they're requesting you, they seem to keep you on a regular pattern or keep regular flow. And they tend to keep you like on the same job. Like say you did a lockout, they're gonna keep sending you lockout jobs. Um, but from, if you want to ask what my favorites are, I like doing lockouts. Those are kind of, I like, I like a challenge, so sometimes it could be challenging and I don't want to say fun, but it can be challenging. Um, next one I like to do is jump starts. Those are the, that's a fast one, easy money. Tire change would be next, and then I told you the very least I don't like doing is the fuel. I don't like my car smelling like gas and I want my hands smelling like gas. So, um. But yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, believe, uh, any questions you want to ask, just hit me up. I'll go ahead and re uh, respond ASAP to you guys. And if you want to sign up for um, Allstate, I can put a link in the description to make it easier for you to go ahead and um, sign up with them. Like I said, it's real simple, easy money. You can do it on the side whenever you're bored or not busy. Or if you want to do this full time, I know some people that do does this roadside full time all day like they do Uber. So if you want to do it full time, that's an option as well for you to to do, but I just do this part time on a job. Like I mentioned, I do a, I have a mobile braking rotor service that I do that does pretty well. But when that's slow, I just go ahead and do roadside. I like to stay busy. All right, just hit me up. Any questions you got? Thanks.